All right, so in this video, we wanna talk about the best hard drive for your computer. So I get a lot of questions on the channel about hard drives. So whether solid state hard drive or hard disk drive, and should I get 256 gigs or should I get four terabytes in my computer? These are some questions that I'm gonna answer in the video. But if you're curious about the exact products I'm talking about, as we're walking through this video, you can check those links out in the description below. Quick heads up, those are affiliate links. So I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. And that's what keeps this channel alive and these helpful videos coming out to you. So I really appreciate it when you all use those links. I'm Benji Kaiser. I've been a graphic designer for a little under a decade now, and now I work as a digital marketing manager, overseeing the digital marketing assets for healthcare providers. So hard drives. What is the difference between a solid state hard drive and a hard disk drive? And why are these differences important? Well, a solid state hard drive has no moving parts. You think about like a thumb drive. A thumb drive is just a little stick and, it's, and it, the memory is written onto it and you can erase it, refresh it, format it, whatever. But there's no moving parts to do that. The hard disk drive, on the other hand, has moving parts. It has an eye that scans the disk as the disk is going around and then it picks up the information. So I'm gonna give you two scenarios to show you how the information is retrieved and brought to you when you go to click an item or load an item or find an item or save an item from the different hard drives. A hard disk drive is as if I want some information, I wanna know how to spell the word ambiguous. So what I need to do is go up, get my thesaurus or my dictionary, pull it off of the wall, find the word ambiguous, there it is. That's how you spell ambiguous. Now, opposed to me having my iPhone, picking up my iPhone, searching ambiguous, and it auto-correcting me. Which one was faster? Well, it's definitely faster to just pull out my iPhone and do a quick search. So think about it as going out, finding the information and bringing it back and then opening it up. That's what the hard disk drive is doing. It's going out, it's taking its arm, it's scanning the disk and looking for the information. Whereas the solid state hard drive, there's no moving parts, so it's written directly on the memory. Grab it, there it is. It's, I mean, it's a no brainer. But the difference is, is that people find it more expensive to get solid state hard drives. Newer technology, faster, so obviously it becomes more expensive. So as that is concerned, here's what I often recommend people to do if they're on a budget. What I recommend you do is you run your computer off of a solid state hard drive and you have your storage on a hard disk drive. They actually make computers with both hard drives inside of them. If you're curious about those computers, I've listed them in the description below. I've listed some of the, my favorite ones, some that I think have the best performance for say graphic designers or video editors or gamers. But personally, my industry is graphic design. So what happens when you have a hard drive that's a solid state and a hard drive that's a hard disk drive is that you allow your computer to run all of your programs and your boot ups on the solid state hard drive. That makes your computer faster because if it's not going out and looking for information all the time, it just loads right then and there. And so when you launch your programs or you're starting up your computer, it will boot up much faster because it's not going out and searching for all the information. And then what you can do is you can save all of your information on the hard disk drive. So the computer boots up and runs the programs off of the solid state hard drive and then saves all of your files in all of your memory and all of your storage, that's on the hard disk drive. So why that's more affordable is say you have like 128 gigs of solid state and you have one terabyte of hard disk drive space. So that gives you some context. Now, as far as reliability is concerned, the solid state hard drive is far more reliable because it does not have the moving parts of the hard disk drive. So if reliability is something you really, really need in your computer, for instance, I'm a graphic designer, and when I was going through school, I had friends who would constantly lose projects because their hard disk drives would malfunction or something would go wrong or a file wouldn't get saved or something would get lost. I rarely saw that happen. If I could probably say it never happened with solid state hard drives, they are far more reliable with the absence of moving parts. And so if you're somebody who really needs reliability, I would lean towards getting a computer with say 256 gigs um, to 512 gigs of internal memory, and then getting an extra solid state hard drive on the side, say a one terabyte, just external drive. And that way you can have you know good performance with great reliability on saving files and still have more storage space externally. It'll be a far more affordable option to you. If you're curious about the external drives I recommend, um, again, description below, check those out. I like the Samsungs a lot. I think they make a really great product, really fast load times, and just reliable. So as concerning to do you need four terabytes of memory in your computer, I would say unless you're on the road and you need as little gear as possible, um, I would not recommend that. It's just, it's, 
simply because it's just really expensive. Uh, if you can have an extra external hard drive and just pop that in your bag, I would do that. Uh, right now, I think the MacBook Pro is peaking out at seven grand to have four terabytes of memory in it. Um, that's really fun to talk about. I think it's kind of cool, but it's just not a financially wise decision to make. I think you're gonna do fine with 256 to 512 gigs of hard drive space, um, and then you have an external drive in case you know you go over that. Um, I myself run a desktop hard drive, and it has two terabytes, and I'm still working on filling that up, even with all the videos and content that I'm putting out on YouTube. So I really hope this video has helped you today. Again, links in the description below if you want any of these products. I'm Benji Kaiser of BenjiKaiser.com, and I'll see you here on the next episode.